dear students welcome to the youtube channel eternal easy education in this session you are going to learn forms and files chapter 8 content of the session is file handling using php under file handling we are going to see some of the important uh, important steps which can be done or the process which can be done by the php File handling is an important activity of all web application development process. Files are processed for different tasks using the following events. For example, if you are applying for a job or applying for a college, they will ask you to fill your details and they ask you to upload your photo, upload your mark certificate, scan copy, even the signature also copied nowadays. So these are all files. So these files are uploaded and they are stored in a server and it is maintained. So as you know, PHP is a server side scripting language. It should handle all the things effectively. So we are going to learn in this session how a file is opened, closed and uh, up and uploading so you are going to see the difference between write a file appending a file then uploading a file let's we start php open a file f open is a system function available in php this function helps to open a file in the server so the first function is f open that is file open it is used to open a file it contains two parameters one for the file and the other one specifies in which mode the file should be opened read or write so how to write this what is the syntax dollar file object it's a variable equal to f open it is a built-in function followed by two parameters one is the file name and we have to mention whether it is read only file or write mode this is important because sometimes the file should be read only or else there will be some chance to edit the file by the user who is accessing the file. So as a programmer we have to decide in this situation whether the file is uh, open for read mode or to write any uh, anything else. That means sometimes after submitting the application form they may ask you to change any address or any mark changes they will give a time within the two days we have you have to edit your file so why editing the file this mode is used so here is an example dollar my file equal to f open student.txt so it is a text file and it is open in read only mode we'll see this in example next one is php read a file f read file read function reads from from an open file the file object op comes from f open function that means if a file already is there it will read the file so the syntax is f read followed by the object file object and the file size within the file name that means it should be given the file name and the size of the file so first the file name followed by file size function the parameter of the uh, parameter is given as the file name so it will from the file name itself it will take the size of the file so two parameters are needed one is file name another one is size of the file how to close a file f close file close file close within the bracket file name object so this is the example we'll see in the php file then how to write f write function is used to write to your file f open file name is given then the mode is w that is write mode then it will allow the user to write the content inside the function but there is a minus point or drawback here. What does that mean? It will overwrite what is present already in the file. But 
sometimes it may be okay but sometimes it is not necessary to overwrite it it should be added with the content which is present already that means a fried function open the file given in the parameter and write the content inside the file but the drawback is it will overwrite the old content which is present in the file so to overcome this there is another function file underscore put content so what this function will do means it will add it to the end of the file so it will not overwrite what is already exist but it will add the content to the end it is having four parameters file name content and the mode and contest here the two are optional file name followed by the content php underscore eol file underscore up and slash log ex these are all the predefined variables which are present in the library last file is the file upload so we can upload a file just like your photo signature is uploaded through this content only the upload is the best feature to select one file from the local machine to server machine form tag is used to mention a method as post or get i hope you remember this post to post is recommended get is not recommended because this content is visible in the url an encrypt attribute mentioned as multipart form data so in the file input tag there are three uh, two attributes one is method another one is encrypt so in the input tag mention type equal to file attribute shows the input file input field as a file select control with a browse button next to the input control i'll show this as you know you start the exam server see this example php followed by my file equal to open student dot text read mode or die unable to open file that means if the file not exist it will say it as unable to open file it's a um, exceptional hand handling that concept is if there is any error the program itself handle it so this method of handling the error is called exception handling so here the uh, given content is dollar my file it is a user defined variable we can ha have any name here equal to f open file open student dot text this is the file name so this file name must exist it should be opened in the mode of read then echo f read file object comma file size of student so the next line is to read the content first one opens the file next one reads the file echo means it will print what is present in the file then close the file this is important and, and it is a good practice if we open a file we must close the file we'll see the output now as you know in the browser type so hello world testing hello world testing so this is the content present in the file student dot text so we'll check whether this is there or not how to check means 
in the folder htdoc where you will save your php file in the folder itself i have given the file exam redox so student dot text this is the content now we'll change the content save the file now execute can you see this the content also changed because it is opening the same file so is it, is it clear children f open is used to, to open the file f read is to read the file and echo is used to, to print on the screen f close is used to, to close the file now what is f write and what is f file puts content so f write means open same file then there is a text with first name and f write as my file first name that means the content first name is added not added it is written on the file my file variable that is it is holding the name of student dot text so the word first name is going to be written on the file student dot text and another file another word not file another word is second name same file and we are closing the content see here as you know this is the content present in the file student now we are going to write another content in the uh, file student so what is going to happen is it is going to rewrite this overwrite not rewrite it is going to overwrite so welcome to PHP programming here we will use write f write dot php so it uh, it didn't say any error that means it has written the content we will check with the content can you see now php programming is changed to first name second name this is the method to write the content now we are going to see what is append that means without overwriting we are going to add the content so this is the simple line echo put file content file name followed by the content and the method and the mode is file underscore append lock x so it is given here what is given file put underscore content it is used to, to append to your file what are the things or what are the parameters file name followed by the content and the mode so that is given here so we know already first name and second name is in the file am i right this is in the file the same file student or text is going to be appended with the content of hello world testing that means this file this word is going to add with the content which is already there this first name and second name is not overwritten 
Shall we check? First we'll open. First name, second name is there. Now we are going to append. That is in the file name of f put dot php. Now we'll ask to open the file. Can you see this first name, second name? And hello world testing is added with the content. So you have learned file open, file write, file read, file close, how to append the content to the file. That means how to add the content to the existing file. File underscore put underscore contents. Now you are going to learn how to upload a file. File upload demo. So select image to upload. Choose file. No file is chosen yet. Upload image. So this is the HTML page. Form action upload.php. This, this file is going to link with the upload.php. Method is post. That n type encryption type is multi-part form data. These are all given. Now input type is file. Select image to upload. That is seen here. Select image to upload. Then input type is file. File to upload is the name. ID also file to upload. These are all. Uh, background content it will not be shown on the front page so front is as the file type is file that is input type is file here it is asking us choose the file next input type is submit button and the value is upload image so what is given here is printed here or displayed here now choose the file So I have to choose a file. I am choosing a file with the name of black. Then open. Here it is given as black.png. Upload image. So the file is an image. The file black.png has been uploaded. So it is uploaded. Where it is uploaded means as per the program it is uploaded in the folder of same htdocs uploads. Can you see the image black? Now I'll explain what is the coding behind it. So this is the coding for uploading a image. Target underscore dir uploads slash this is the folder name so this folder should present where the php file is saved so by default our php file is saved in htdocs folder under exam so uploads folder is created under exam htdocs uploads next target file target directory dot base name base name is taken from dollar underscore file as you learnt dollar underscore post dollar underscore git this variable is php variable which is fetching the data from the html file here in this html file Here, this black.png, this input 
type file is getting the file name. This is the content. This is fetched here using the PHP program. So file to upload and then name. This is stored in the variable tar target underscore file. And we are having a file of variable as upload ok equal to 1. Then image file type equal to string to lower. That is a predefined function converting all the line, all the letters into small letter. It is setting the path target file comma path information extension then post from the variable post from the button submit get image size because we need the size for opening the file also it for writing the file also it asks the file name and the size of the file so the size of the file is retried here so get image size is a function it is getting the size of the file from the variable dollar underscore file file upload temporary name from this it is fetching the size of the file and the file is an image followed by the given name When we choose a file, file is an image followed by image slash png. That is, it is saying the extension name of the file. Then file, file name has been uploaded. How, where it is uploaded means here only. How? If it is asking if, if condition is dollar upload ok equal to equal to 0. It is not 0 because we know from the starting we assigned as 1. As the file is an image it is here also 1. So here it is asking whether it is 0. No it is not 0. So it has to come for the else part. In the else part move underscore uploaded file. It is the function which is going to move the file to the location given in the program. So in the program we, we have given the uh, location, target location as uploads. So move the move uploaded file, file to upload temporary name to the target file. That means the location in the location with the same name with the same extension so this function is moving the file to the particular location the file base name has been uploaded as given so that's the output we have seen here the file black.png has been uploaded sorry there was an error uploading your file if this if is not functioning it has to say this error as it is a thing instead of a image if we select any other format like I am selecting a word file I am asking to upload it will say error because the program is written to upload an image with a particular extension with a particular size. This, uh, like that only in our real time program also given. So only we are struggling to upload our photo because, because it will ask the resolution and the size. It will take only the particular size with the particular resolution. So it is saying as file is not an image, sorry your file is too large, sorry only jpg, png, jif files are allowed, sorry your file was not uploaded. But everything is given in the coding. 
based on the coding only it is checking the process so the coding is given in the php file so php is a server side validation programming so here it is validating the file and storing in the server side even though up to now we didn't touch the database we are dealing only with the file in the next chapter you will learn how to um, how to fetch the data from the database that means the direct server so do you understand the program it's a lengthy program so no down when you get time try in your system then only you will understand the concept because mainly predefined variables and functions are used in this program so when you try to write a real time program the program length and the model will be like this but once you get to work with it you feel happy because you are creating a concept okay children so ensure that php is configured to allow file uploads that means in server machine php.nin should be equal to on so how to check this i'll show you they are saying that to use this upload file this php dot in file is there in this file this option should be in on so where it is means in your exam server here it is apache configure so php dot in but don't make any changes it will affect your file i just want to show you because it is given in the book so find file in the score upload can you see here file underscore uploads equal to on so when it is in on then only you can upload if you find if you are trying in your system if there is any error means you check first this line after that you will do it but don't make any changes in any other thing then it will totally will destroy your format so you learned open a file read a file close a file write on a file it will overwrite up and means it will add to the file uploading means uploading a image clear